Undo the valve and deflate the tire. Remove the valve core. When you remove the valve core, rotate the wheel so that the valve is in the six o'clock position. Next, you wanna get yourself a dipstick. If your dipstick comes out dry, it means it's time to replace your sealant as it's dried up. Now, when you come to replace your sealant, the amount that you put in is gonna be dependent on the kind of tire system you're using. So on a road setup, I would say typically between 30 and 40 milliliters. Whereas with a cross or gravel bike setup, you're gonna be wanting to use more sealant, typically around 60 to 80 milliliters. When you go to put your sealant in, it's actually quite good to rotate the valve so that it's now at the 12 o'clock position, as this means you don't tip this upside down and pour sealant everywhere, attach the pouch on and then rotate into the six o'clock position and squeeze out some sealant. Also, when you do change your sealant, why not consider setting a reminder on your phone for four months from now?